Damon Bro, Matt Kimball, Alicia Springer, and Chris Buffoni. Here they come. Justin Littlewood jumps out. No, he doesn't. Corey Wheeler fights him off. Coming up the inside, Solomon Bro on the outside. It's Littlewood. Littlewood backs out. Bro goes down to the bottom. Going way up high is Matt Kimball in the borrowed ride of Devin Guy. And Solomon Bro leads lap one. Wheeler second, Littlewood third. Then it's Buffoni, Springer, and Kimball. Bro, Wheeler, Littlewood. Kimball working the outside, trying to make up some ground as he gets used to the car. Works around Alicia. Solomon Bro, Justin Littlewood, Corey Wheeler. Chris Buffoni. Matt Kimball still working the outside in the 12. Buffoni looking on the inside of Wheeler. Sees a little daylight there. They're going to stack it three deep in the corner. And coming out on the short end is Wheeler. Alicia just gets by. Hits a halfway mark. No caution. And it really didn't change anything. Except that Kimball got to move up. Two laps to go for Solomon Bro, Justin Littlewood, Matt Kimball, and Alicia Springer with Buffoni and Wheeler. White flag coming up. Solomon got it all to himself. Justin doing his best to run him down. Kimball and Springer given chase, but it's going to be Solomon Bro's race all the way. Bro takes it, Littlewood second, Kimball third, and the fourth and final qualifier will be Alicia Springer. She's had a win, I think, this year at Twin State. And they get a green on a slow start. Colton Smith gets off the line quicker, a little faster than Bo does. Bo moves into second. Haley and Mike fight for third. Alexis running last on the outside, right up on the back bumper of Mike McGoldrick. Three of them wheel off. No one changes positions. McGoldrick stays up on the outside. Haley throws it into turn one to keep her spot, drops to fourth. Bo Smith uses up a lot of racetrack and everybody has to stay behind him. This time he pulls down, tries to pull up and take the lane away, but McGoldrick stays right there. Bo has trouble in turn one, gets twisted up a little bit. So McGoldrick and Aiken, whoa, they all come charging down there as Bo comes back to fight a little bit. Haley's able to get by. The ladies move into third and fourth place. Colton Smith on top. Look out. Alexis gets into a slide. They both get back on the gas. As Colton continues to win, McGoldrick closing in. Bo Smith trying to save position by... Moving his groove all over the place. Takes Alexis way up the banking. That throws him off and she rides right on by. Colton Smith trying to drop down to block McGoldrick, but he's already there. And inches ahead off of turn two. Two laps left for McGoldrick. Colton Smith and Haley Guy. Alexis Aiken and Bo Smith in the fourth and fifth spots.
Haley not quite enough to get down in there as the 55 drops down into the corner. Goes wide off of four. Haley goes underneath with a lap to go. And it's McGoldrick. He will be the second qualifier when the checker comes out. He will be the first. He's taking the lead. McGoldrick, your winner. Haley Guy second. Colton Smith third. Those are the qualifiers. Then it'll be Alexis Aiken and Bo Smith. When we say qualifiers, we mean the cars that'll be... step forward to the beginning of the field for their 25-lap main event later on tonight. Here they come for the green for Mike Griggs. Jumping out ahead is McKnight. Set of Mustangs up front. And I missed the eight. I don't know what was wrong with me there. DJ Lazelle in the Toyota from Jacksonville, Vermont. Hoping he can get back to the front of the field. Had a chance to win, spun out with a lap to go the last time. He was leading it for a whole bunch of races, laps I should say. Now he's stuck behind everybody else. McKnight, Pomasco, Stebbins, Fayford, Raymond, and Lazelle. DJ Lazelle working up to the high side. Mike Stebbins takes the Honda outside Pomasco. Fayford runs down inside, takes away the inside lane from Raymond. Mike Stebbins prefers the outside, but he'll swap lanes if he finds daylight. Pomasco closing in on McKnight, coming into three. We're at the halfway point. McKnight, Pomasco, Stebbins. Fayford, Raymond, and Lazelle. Everybody pretty equally matched in this one. No one able to make a real good move. McKnight hanging in there. Actually putting a little daylight on Pabasco. Kevin long overdue for a podium finish. Julia sees some daylight. Going after fourth place with two laps to go. Swings off the corner. She and Fafer neck and neck down into one. Julia Raymond. Lazelle sees the chance to slide in there if he can do it. Here comes Pomasco for the white flag. Can't set it up. McKnight, Pomasco, and Stebbins. Raymond into fourth. Fafer fifth. Lazelle still sitting there trying to pick up a spot. Here's Pomasco trying to set it up for an inside move. Checkered flags in the air. It'll be McKnight all the way. Pomasco, Stebbins, Raymond, and a close one for the last. Uh, looked like 048 for that one. Pulls out the 69 with a slightly different engine to run here once in a while since the car's housed right up at the top of the hill here. Wheeling off the corner they come with McKnight. Monahan getting the edge on Beth Adams. Beth was swapping engines around like crazy over the weekend because she wanted to run the tour race at New Hampshire Motor Speedway. Had problems here, had to take it out that night, put a new motor in it, which was the old motor. Not competitive, so I don't know which motor she's up to now. Enough to get onto Monahan's bumper anyway. Joel Monahan, Beth Adams, Cameron Sontag. Chris McTaggart with a bumper coming off the corner. Cameron doesn't give up the spot. The soon-to-be high school freshman running in third. Monahan and Adams. Monahan protecting the bottom. Cameron swings wide. That's what McTaggart wants, but didn't quite give the room. I had to get out of the way. McTaggart into third. Sontag back on the outside at the halfway point. It's still Monahan, Adams, McTaggart, Sontag, and Marsh. Louis Mayer has disappeared. Winding down. Joel Monahan doing a good job. Whoops. Beth Adams rubbed off the back bumper there a little bit. Wow, two laps to go. Monahan 
protecting the inside of four, which is the easiest place to mess up and let somebody go by on the inside. Turn two, everybody's pretty equal. Monahan takes a little extra space. Here comes the white flag. Monahan and Adams going for it. McTaggart and Sontag, the other two potential qualifiers. Once again, Monahan does not let Adams have the spot. Gets a good run into the corner. Here comes Beth down to the inside. Here's the checkered flag. Monahan will take it. Flag to flag. Adams goes to second. McTaggart third. Sontag fourth. to set the starting order for tonight's main event. Here they come, 25 laps of the feature, but eight laps, this 10 lap qualifier. 10 laps to see who comes out on top. It's Lescord with the lead easily. Look out! The ladies go sliding through the infield as they get caught up in traffic, and that'll bring out the caution. Alyssa tried to squeeze between two cars, got tapped from behind and turned sideways and collected Nancy in the process. Jim McDonald, Tyler Leary, and Jeff Rollins bring him down. Lescord gets a jump. McDonald doesn't stay with him, and here's the green. Lescord slows. McDonald catches up, as does everybody else. And it'll be Lescord leading lap one. Look out, Hager and Patalis bang together. Once again, Nancy Muni binds him up. She's not moving it, so they'll get a caution. So that lap will not count. Alyssa Rivera and Nancy Muni. Tom Carey dropped out after the first scuffle. Once again, a kind of a ragged start. If Lescourt's going to jump out, he better make it pay. Rollins coming up the outside. Hager and Patalis banging wheels coming through four. Leary down on the inside of Rollins. Rollins clears and moves into third. Dives down inside McDonald in the turn four. Hager and Patalis having their troubles. Seth Patalis is 99, heads for Pitt Road. Looks like he has a right front tire down. Lescord McDonald. Uh, check that. Lescord, Rollins, McDonald, Leary, and Strebel. Robert Hager, Alyssa Rivera, and Nancy Muni. Halfway coming up now in this 10 lap qualifier. Tyler Leary looks like he's got a shot at holding on, although Rollins has been quick. Rollins not able to slide underneath in the corner. Good spot to pass when someone slides up a little bit. Rollins trying to close and pass. Lescord slides out a little bit. Not enough to make the change. McDonald still holding on to fourth place. But Strebel slides underneath. Here's Rollins for the pass with two laps to go. Jeff Rollins grabs the second spot. Uh, moves from second to first, puts Lescord into second spot. Leary third, fourth is Strebel now. Hager fifth, the sixth and final qualifier at the moment is McDonald in the 0-8. One lap to go. Alyssa Rivera trailing, not where she wants to be. Coming down for the checkers, your heat winner will be Jeff Rollins. With the 15 of Lescord, Leary third, Strebel fourth, Hager fifth, six belongs to McDonald, with Rivera and Muni rounding it up. Hey, that's Shane Foss in his first race at Madadnock. Spent some time at Claremont and Canaan in the past.
Here they come. Everybody trying to get a feel for it in the first lap. Trevor Blow, Keith Carzello, JT Cloutier. Dana Smith and Tyler Jarvinpah. They need a little more time to sort it out. Trevor Blow, Carzello, Cloutier, and Smith. Jarvinpah and Foss. Top four qualify immediately. Bubble car is Smith. Jarvinpah dives it down to the bottom of the racetrack and grabs the spot. Coming up on the halfway mark, Cozzello coming up to challenge the TJ Blow machine. Cloutier holding on to third. Jarvin Paul fourth on the bubble. Then Smith and Foss. Garzello dogging the 15. Lutier's going to have a challenge from Jarvin Pa as they come into the corner with two to go. Jarvin Pa down low. Cloutier on the outside for third place. Jarvin Pa takes it into three and has the edge. One to go for Blow, Carzello. Jarvin Pa, Cloutier on the bubble now. Smith in fifth, then Foss. Checkered flag, it'll be TJ Blow for the win. Uh, Keith Carzello second, Jarvin Pa third, Cloutier the fourth qualifier. Then Smith and Foss round out the field. 16, hasn't been here for a long time and never in a modified. That's Ray Grassetti from Munson, Mass and the Grassetti Brothers machine. Here they come. Quickly out in front goes the 44 of Chapin. Patno right up the outside. Kim Rivette gets it together, drops in line in third. Again, the top four qualify for the main. Chapin, Patnode, Rivette, and Fifield. Willett and Grassetti. Byfield trying to do an inside move on the 99 for third. That doesn't pay off. Once again, tries the Raymond's corner shot. Doesn't work down low. Nicky Willett pushing it hard in the third spot. Chapin, Pat Node, 1 2. Rivet, Fifield, 3 4. Willette and Grassetti. Steve Byfield using everything he knows how to get around the 99. He might be a little quicker. Wide flag for Chapin and Patno. The battle for third and fourth. Rivet and Fifield. Off the corner they come and it'll be Chapin for the win. Pat Node second. Kim Rivet holds on to third over Steve Fifield. They qualify. Then Nikki Willett and Ray Grassetti round out the field in qualifier number two for the Sportsman Modified. Nathan Johnson in the 88 and the 84. Eric LeClaire from East Hampton. Here they come. Bill Kimball wheels around the 23, moves into the lead. McMichael shoots underneath to take second spot off the fourth third. Zahensky goes back to third. Fourth now is the 88 for Johnson. Fourth qualifier, that's the bubble car, Resnicki and LeClaire. 
right behind him. Bill Kimball trying to hold off Scott McMichael for the win here. Brad Zahensky and Nathan Johnson running third and fourth. Halfway through this one. Kimball, McMichael, Nathan Johnson and Brad Zahensky. Neither one of the two have graduated from high school yet in that third and fourth spot. This time Johnson holds it down to the bottom with two laps to go. Johnson will take over third coming off turn four. It's Johnson and Zahensky now three and four. Then Resnicki and LeClaire. White flag coming out for Bill Kimball. Scott McMichael. Nathan Johnson and Brad Zahensky with Resnicki and LeClaire. Final turn. Bill Kimball points it to the starter's line and takes the win. McMichael second, Johnson third, Zahensky final qualifier, then Resnicki and LeClaire. Parks on the inside, Colson on the outside. Then it's Zaniski, Tommy O'Sullivan, Dylan Moltz, Derek Griffith, Barry Gray, Corey Casagrande, Michael Sullivan, and Adam Norton. Green flag. Parks and Colson neck and neck as they enter turn number one. Parks now takes the lead. The shadow, Tommy O'Sullivan with a lane change now. Underneath Colson in turns three and four. O'Sullivan backs it off now. He'll set it for third right now. Look at the youngster, Derek Griffith now up to fourth. Griffith to fourth. Dylan Moltz fifth. Then it's Barry Gray. Matt Zaniski falling backwards on the inside as Magic Mike O'Sullivan works the outside in turn one and two. Parks running away with it right now. Colson sideways off of turn number four trying to run down Parks. The shadow, Tommy O'Sullivan is third. Derek Griffith fourth, Dylan Moltz, Barry Gray, your last qualified car in the 29. Gray closing in on Dylan Moltz as Moltz is closing in on Derek Griffith as they go down the back stretch. Coming off turns three and four, Parks right now has the advantage over Coulson. O'Sullivan sliding back just a little bit from Derek Griffith. Dylan Moltz now under pressure from Barry Gray as Gray's trying to make the Meadows Motor Car Chevrolet work on the inside. Takes a look on the outside and turns one and two. Nothing there. Gray with a lane change swung to the inside of Moltz. Moltz slams it all going into turns three and four. Parks running away with it. Colson second right now. The shadow, Tommy O'Sullivan, Moltz now under pressure as Gray gets a nose underneath. They touch coming off of turn number four. Gray to the inside, Moltz slides back to the sixth and final qualified spot going into turns three and four. Nine laps into the books. Three laps remain for heat number one. It's been the Mike Park show right now as Colson second. The Shadow, Tommy O'Sullivan, Derek Griffith, Gray Moltz, your qualified cars. The Shadow, Tommy O'Sullivan underneath. Fran Jr. Colson now in turns one and two. Down the back stretch they go. O'Sullivan has the advantage in three and four. Derek Griffith looking for room. Here comes Barry Gray. Gray picks up a spot on Griffith. Looks underneath Colson now. Down the back stretch they go. Drag race into turns three and four. Gray on the inside, Colson falls back. Parks takes the checkers. O'Sullivan, Gray, Colson, Griffith, and Dylan Moltz, your qualified spot. Great run for Barry Gray. Twelve laps of distance, top six qualify. Hersey, Smith, 
Fromm, Robert, Baker, King, Squealia, Gelinas, and Gino. 12 laps of distance, top six, qualify, green flag. Hersey with a huge jump, takes the lead, and Matt Fromm follows suit. Smith bounced back to third, then it's a battle for fourth between Robert and Brian Baker. Josh King, your final qualified spot under heavy pressure from Joey Squilia. Squilia in the 0-3 looking for room to run. He'll have to back it down. Keep an eye on car number 37, Larry Gelinas, your point leader. Out of the qualified spot right now for the JBH 100. Gelinas has to set his sights on car number 21, Josh King, who holds a final qualified spot. Ron Smith through the infield and turn number four holds onto that third spot. Smith under pressure from Robert. Robert looks to the inside now as they go into turn three and four. Robert backs it out as Smith holds onto the third spot. Percy from Smith, Robert, Brian Baker, and Josh King, your top six right now. Larry Gelinas not owning a qualified spot currently. Corey Roberts looks to the outside, nothing on Ron Smith. All over his back bumper as they go into turns three and four. Robert looks to the outside of Smith once more in turns one and two. Has to slow up, here comes Brian Baker now. Baker looks to the inside of Robert, that's the battle for fourth in turns three and four. Oh, Baker and Robert touch going into turns one and two. Cloud of smoke. Robert comes out on top. Josh King now underneath Baker for the fifth spot. Larry Gelinas, your point leader, not qualified with only four laps to go. Russ Hersey first, Matt Fromm second. Ron Smith, Corey Robert, Josh King, and Baker sideways on the Raymond corner. Keeps a handle on it, but Squealia passes him for the final qualified spot. Larry Gelinas needs one more as the popsicle sticks are in the air for Russ Hersey. Keep an eye on that battle for six between Joey Squealia and Larry Gelinas. Gelinas trying to run down Squealia. White flag is in the air for Hersey. Gelinas looks to the inside now. Squealy on the outside, Gelinas on the inside. Gelinas takes the final qualified spot. Checkers are in the air, Russ Hersey takes it. Matt Fromm, Ron Smith, Corey Robert, Josh King, and Larry Gelinas steals the final qualified spot.